Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're with Ping today at Ping headquarters in Phoenix, Arizona, talking with Marty Jertsen about new G410 products from Ping. We're specifically going to talk about the G410 irons mm. now. And Marty, this is a pretty impressive looking iron for a game improvement club. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, we've done some really fun things here with the weighting to get the inertia really high that allowed us to make an iron that when you first set it down, you kind of fall in love with it. And so uh, this iron has about 10% less offset than its predecessor with the G400. And the blade length is a little more compact. Some of the form and the lines and the shaping are a little more uh, inspired by a, a tour style head. But the fun part about this iron, Chris, is that we've re-engineered how we do our custom weighting. So we can still custom build to different swing weights and accommodate shafts and lengths and all those custom factors. But we've taken the weighting out of the center of the club and moved it to the perimeter. So you see this uh, high density weight we're using on the toe. We also have a, uh, a high density weight underneath the shaft and the hosel. So it's more of a barbell approach to perimeter weighting so the MOI, or forgiveness of this iron, is up 8%, even though it's smaller. So it kind of, you know, it's kind of uh, mind-boggling in that sense. Yeah. Um, and that 8% inertia makes this iron have the same forgiveness as our G Max iron, which was a super wide sole, longer blade length, just for perspective. Yeah, and while it, you know, it, it's got really kind of a player's shape, it reminds me a lot of actually I-200 in a lot of mm -hmm. ways yep. in the address position. The player that's going to be looking for this iron is going to be looking for distance, going to be looking for launch, yep. and the flexing mechanics and the core eye is really delivering ball speed and the launch conditions that players want to hit more greens. Yeah, that's a big thing we've worked on the last five years or so, is how do we bring more distance to the iron category, but in a way that you can still have really good distance control and you can still launch the ball up in the air and, 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 and stop it fast on the greens, right? We don't want to have a distance iron that you can't gap your whole set well or that you don't have that stopping power. So with the G410 iron, it has advancements to our core eye technology. Now we have a full 360 degree undercut. So this thing from a cross section standpoint is really built like a metal wood. And the way the face flexes during the impact, it, the top rail relaxes like a diving board or a catapult. And it makes the club act like it has two or three more degrees of loft. During the impact interval, it, the face flexes in such a way that increases your launch angle. That's the fun part about our irons in general, is that we can have distance irons that launch the ball up in the air and give you plenty of lift for stopping power. The other thing you guys have been outstanding at with recent releases, and is again the case here, is giving players the type of performance you talked about. And there's irons on the market that you can hit a long way, mm. hit high. A lot of them don't feel very good, yeah. don't sound very good, and a lot of work went into these to try to ensure kind of a real pleasing, solid feel at impact. Yeah, I think visually uh, customers will notice, you know, a full cavity multi-material badge, and we utilize that, more surface area, more contact area, more thickness, has more 3D geometry, is engineered to g deliver that little more muted impact sound. So these have a feel that you still get the sensation that you have a lot of ball speed, but it, it, it comes with a little muted uh, experience uh, with that. So very unique and, and something we, we focus on a lot to deliver that, like you said, a distance iron that gives you very good feedback and feel and, and, and the user experience is very pleasing. And I know you specifically want to talk about the wedge. There's been some face technologies incorporated there to improve performance, help people match up their maybe this pitch and wedge, wedges better with specialty wedges. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. So uh, we wanted to, to, for the first time, we're leveraging machining the face and grooves on the wedges. So pitching wedge, U wedge, sand wedge, and L wedge in the G410 series, we're machining the face and grooves. And we're basically adopting our Glide 2.0 groove technology. So it's the same groove spec, a little tighter spacing, very tight tolerancing. Uh, pair that with the Hydro Pearl finish, which is water repelling and delivers better friction, basically better grip between the cover of the golf ball and the face on all the wedges. So I think customers are going to be very delighted. You order your set, you get your set, go out and hit chip shots and pit shots with, with them. 
you're going to get a lot more grab and with that a lot more consistency. And is it safe to say, I think based on the way we've described this iron, the new shape, the less offset, the improved feel, but the same incredible performance that you feel like you've maybe expanded the audience for the for the G410, yeah, the G400? Yeah, uh, absolutely. I think this is gonna now align in the sweet spot of the marketplace of, of from a size appeal standpoint. And then uh, folks are gonna be very delighted with the overall performance, how, how much stopping power there is. One thing we really wanna do is take a look at our whole iron portfolio and give good spacing between the I210 that you mentioned in our G700. So with the G400, it was sized, you know, pretty similar to the G700. Now with the G410, we slid that over. So just from a size standpoint, we have really good, uh, really good spacing there between our I210, now with the, with the G410, and the G700. Good stuff. Marty, great looking iron. We appreciate it. Thanks.